introduce. My name is Jonathan. I'm the president of the Graphic Designers of Canada. That explains that loud red banner over to the far left of stage. And I welcome all of you to be here. Uh, it was an honor and a pleasure to be one of the speakers here at, at, in Vancouver in 2011 for Interesting Vancouver. And if you ever want to check out the videos, please do. Please know that there's a large record and repository of all the videos, good and bad, of all of the talks that have happened for the last 10 years. So if you're ever wondering what's actually underneath this suit, it might be a tattoo, it might be bigger than yours, and probably is, check it out. I dare you. Yeah, as, as uh, Robert said earlier, size matters. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear that often. <laughs> it's been a joy to be a part of the growth of this unique event over the years, and I've been working closely with Mark and Brett to ensure that the inertia never wanes, that we can continue celebrating the diverse and beautiful range of interesting individuals that is our community. The Interesting Vancouver Prize is a result of our planning to sustain the core values of this event and to see it continue for many more years. In respect to a prize, I've always held that being present, being recognized, being engaged is already the win, life's rich reward. Our messaging points to that, community and participation. Interesting Vancouver is doing all of these things, and with this award, we are bringing to light our criteria for speaker consideration. However, every person in this audience is a potential speaker, and we have stated that loudly and clearly at every event. This is your event, and this is for you. None of the nominees know who the other nominees are or how many there are, many of whom are in this room right now, possibly right beside you. Look around and ask, who might be that interesting person? You saw them in the eyes earlier. But especially ask, why not me? There are no second place winners, and there's only one recipient each year, yet any one of you in this room could very well be on our stage, and I hope you are. This is the most important aspect of this event, inclusivity and opportunity, challenging everyone equally to continue doing the things you love because passion projects are recognized. Interesting Vancouver is just one way of recognizing the quiet, personal, engaging, and interesting work of others. A quick word about the award itself is created by Eclipse Awards, and this is a one-of-a-kind memento salvaged from a local wind-fallen tree milled and specially cured to retain its bark edge, otherwise known as a live edge, and then customized with engraved artwork. Along with this beautiful keepsake, tonight's winner will receive a cash prize of $1,000 and will be invited to return to the Interesting Vancouver stage in 2018. It actually says 2017, I caught that. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. This year's recipient of the third annual IV Prize captured our judge's interest in how he has approached a very high profile challenge of our times in a personal way. While our city, like any city, defines itself by its buildings, ours is a city trapped between eras. This year's winner has taken this challenge to constructively and creatively explore what might a, what might a more accessible, inclusive, and globally informed approach to how we design and grow our city. With a spirit of Yimby, not NIMBY, yes, in my backyard, he is carrying our city forward in a way only possible in Vancouver. And now that is interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, the third annual Interesting Vancouver Prize recipient is Adrian Crook. If you could please join us on the stage, Adrian. Well, thanks, I'm running on like four brownies and um, two gin and tonics, so I'm a little, Whoa. yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's super humbling to be up here after the people we've seen tonight, it's amazing, so thanks. Um, when I bought this ticket like a few weeks ago, if I had known I'd be here, I would have definitely, like Amanda, invested in some real hobbies and something truly interesting, but instead, uh, I'm here because I wanna legalize housing. And what I mean by that is, uh, is this, this, the hidden system right now that shapes our cities is uh, zoning, probably the least interesting word we'll, we'll hear tonight. And it's, uh, it's the reason why we're constantly arguing over just houses and towers and, and nothing in between, nothing, that missing middle, those like, you know, cute corner stores with apartments over top of them or the low rise apartment buildings. And right now, 76% uh, of our residential land is zoned entirely for and only for single family homes. And the other 60 plus percent of our households live on the remaining 24% of this land. 
and uh, we are zoned exclus exclus excluded rather from that uh, from that 76% uh, of the land um, where you're not legally able to even build a low-rise apartment building, and uh, and that's the the province of uh, of you know two million dollar homes, and that that's the, you know the, the sort of price of entry in that area, and that's what we're trying to do with the group that I co-founded, which is Abundant Housing Vancouver. We formed in uh, June of 2016 after speaking at the city. Uh, City Hall on a, on a zoning uh, hearing for a purpose-built rental building. Um, so we continue to do a bunch of work and we've grown to about a thousand uh, supporters over that time. We do walking tours of Vancouver's worst zoning and our best zoning, which uh, ironically was you know, pre-1940 mostly in areas like Strathcona. And our worst zoning being areas like Northwest Point Grey where you've got minimum 150 by 150 foot lot sizes and um, you know, it's just a gross misuse of property. And essentially what we're here to say is that uh, Vancouver isn't full. Um, you know, there's plenty of room for newcomers. It's, what we have here is a land use issue, uh, a fairness issue, an equality issue. This is a social justice issue. Housing is a human right. Uh, we, see, we see a lot of pushback. You know, we're a YIMBY group, so we see you know, the opposite of YIMBY is NIMBY, uh, not in my backyard. And we're seeing this even right now with um, uh, Marple residents opposing temporary mar modular housing in their neighborhood for the homeless. Uh, and that's something that we're, we're you know, we're, we have a letter generator, we're organi organizing a lot of support to get those modular houses installed in Marple and in other single family neighborhoods uh, to take some of the burden off areas like the downtown east side, which for too long has just been the area where all of uh, the homeless has, have been sort of relegated to and it's not fair. So we are advocating for more housing for more people across the spectrum. Uh, we're really ramping up now, so we're looking for organizers, fundraisers, graphic designers that want to help us with memes, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. So if you're interested in helping us legalize housing, um, please get in touch with me. Um, we're AbundantHousingVancouver.com, and thanks a lot for recognizing us for this.